Hey YouTube, it's Mark from Last Stand Outdoors. Hey, I've been wanting to do a product review on this phone scope uh, that I just got in the mail. And uh, this, the desire for me to get a phone scope started last year out scouting. And I was sitting here trying to hold my cell phone up to my spotting scope to try to get the pictures and video of these uh, nice bucks I was filming. Anyway, I came back and did some research and found out about this uh, product for digiscoping called the phone scope. So I got this in the mail this week. It comes in two parts. This, so this is just a phone case. I happen to be using just the uh, Apple 5S. That's what I'm using. So this will custom fit for that phone. It's pretty cool. You've got your phone case here and you want to just take your phone and it slips right into place just like that. It's very tight, works. It's got a nice good fit on it. You can see it's you know, it's snug, there's not any moving pieces. I once tried to uh, test one out at Sportsman's Warehouse and it was some u universal brand, but it, it had all kinds of moving parts. It didn't hold the phone steady, so I didn't have any confidence in it. So I, I held off on buying it and I've got my uh, phone scope. The second piece is the adapter that's going to fit over the eyepiece of your scope or it actually does binoculars as well. So let me get a little close up on this. This one does have a moving part. This thing moves, this adapter moves clockwise. So the purpose of that is this is the outside. Here's the inside that's gonna fit over your spotting scope. Now you can see the three prongs in there. As you rotate this clockwise, those three rubberized prongs are gonna clamp down on the eyepiece of the spotting scope that you're using. And then you're going to use this piece that's attached to attach the phone scope. So the directions actually say that you want to loosen the eyepiece on your scope and that way there's a better chance that you'll get a full picture when you attach your phone. So anyway, with the adapter, again, you want to put this sort of at a northwest type position, put it over the phone, and then you're going to rotate this piece counterclockwise and those three prongs, those rubberized clamps that I showed you earlier are going to lock down on the eyepiece of the scope. So make sure it's important that you don't over twist this or you could strip it and bust it, so don't do that. Again, it's, it's worth noting that this also works on binoculars. So then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take the phone and the case that we've already got ready, and there's three sort of prongs up here that are gonna slot right into this phone case and then you're gonna rotate it down. So there you go. Now you can see that my phone isn't exactly horizontal. I mean, some spotting scopes you can work around that or with your tripod just rotate it. The reason that you want the phone horizontal is because if it's in the vertical position that's like a 4-3 aspect ratio. It's not going to show properly on, on your computer screens, your, your uh, smartphones, etc. It's not going to give you the full field of view and you're going to miss that broader perspective that you want out spotting. So that's how that sort of fits on the phone or on the scope. Then what we do is just turn on your phone go to the camera and that's what you're gonna see most of the time that circular but easy way to fix that is just get your zoom in there and blow it up and then you've got your whole field of vision anyway that's the phone scope that's the adapter again it's the universal adapter I put it on the very first time I had no problems it went on a piece of cake I was taking some great shots just out of the freeway about a half mile behind me so tomorrow morning we'll wake up and go see if we can spot some animals there's another little group there. So again, I'll just zoom in a little bit on my phone and eliminate those lines, the circular lines there, so you get the full field of view. Anyway, this spotting, this uh, phone scope is fantastic. I really love it. I think it's going to be a great tool for me in filming my hunts and in showing my family what I'm out doing all the time when I'm out hunting.